I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. We have a lot of promotions to announce, and so we're super excited for that. So I think everybody here today would agree um, with me when I say that there's been a lot of change <clears throat> at the Richland Police Department over this last year. Um, shortly after the new year, we had a new chief, not me, and, <laughs> and uh, we've had a complete um, turnover in command staff. So a lot of change from the top down. And as evidenced by these changes, it is and has been apparent um, that as an agency, we, we were in need of some stability, strong leadership, and secession planning. As a department, we've wholly committed to building strong leaders going forward. All the men standing here has, have demonstrated to me that they're up to that challenge. Um, one of my favorite leadership quotes by John Maxwell is, a leader, a leader is one who knows the way, <clears throat> goes the way, and shows the way. Leadership in police work is not about rank, it's not about getting stripes, bars, or stars. In fact, it's the opposite. It's about giving of yourself and sacrifice. It's no longer about you. It's about taking, taking what you've learned, that expertise and competencies that you've been fortunate to develop, and paying it forward. It's about shaping the next generation of police officers who will ultimately secede you. It's about making the Richland Police Department better than we found it. I want to thank each one of you here today for doubling down <clears throat> on law enforcement at some of the worst times that we've had, sticking around and stepping up to lead at a time when the police profession needs it the most. And last but most importantly, I want to take a moment to thank all the families that are here um, to support each of these men tonight. As you all know, none of us can do this job alone. It takes a strong support system. The families of law enforcement are special, resilient people. They wait up for us. They celebrate Christmas, birthdays, and anniversaries with us on alternate days around our graveyard shift, overtime, or an ill-time call out, or any other manner of circumstances. They shoulder the burden of what we go through right along with us and are what we look forward to most at the end of our day. Simply said, uh, our families are our why in this job. So thank you for supporting them, for your, your, the officers, and uh, allowing them to put themselves forward once again on this next leg of their law enforcement journey. So next, I'm going to, I'm gonna have um, each one of them go to the other side and be pinned, um, and I'm gonna read their bio. I, as a leadership exercise, I asked them all to write their own bios, so at the end, we can <laughs> hold over their head and see who wrote the best bio. <laughs> or who writes the best I love me statement. Um, so we're going to have Sergeant Mason go first. So if you want to come over here to this side. So I'll read the bio first and then we'll, and his daughters are going to pin him. Sergeant Mason was promoted in June of this year. Chris Mason has been employed as a member of the Richland Police Department since 2013. Prior to this, Chris served in the infantry with the U.S. Army and as a helicopter pilot for the Washington State National Guard. Chris has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Northern Arizona University and a master's degree in organizational leadership from Gonzaga. Chris worked as a patrol officer from 2013 until 2019 where he was a police training officer, less lethal instructor, officer in charge, patrol tactics in instructor, and SWAT team member. Chris was assigned to the Criminal Investigations Division from 2019 until, until 2022, where he was responsible for investigating complex and serious felony crimes. During this time, Chris was the, Chris was the Registered Sex Offender Verification Officer for the Richland Police Department, as well as an investigator to the Tri-Cities Regional Special Inves Investigations Unit. Currently, Chris is the supervisor of C-Squad and the team leader for the small unmanned aircraft systems team. Chris has been married to Samantha Mason for over 13 years and shares in the joy of three amazing daughters, Hadley, eight, Emmy, six years old, and Blair, four years old. Chris spends most of his time trying to keep up with his family and sneaking away for a round of golf when he can. So I understand Chris's daughters are gonna pin him. So come on up.
Good job, guys. All right, we have Sergeant Miller. Uh, Sergeant Miller was promoted in October. Ryan Miller was born and, ways, and raised in White Salmon, Washington. He attended Eastern Washington University and graduated in 2008 with a BA in criminal justice. Ryan spent 10 years enlisted in the United States Army. He served in armored cavalry and earned the rank of staff sergeant. He deployed to Iraq twice in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Ryan joined the Pol Richmond Police Department in 2010. He worked as a field training officer and patrol officer in charge. He has been a department instructor for 10 years and has taught firearms, less lethal, and first aid. Ryan has also spent nearly eight years as a member of the Tri-City Regional SWAT team, where he worked as a breaching and less lethal specialist and earned the rank of team leader. <coughs> Ryan's awards include the Distinguished uh, Service Award, Meritorious Service Award, SWAT Officer of the Year, and the Medal of Valor. Ryan has been married to his wife, Angela, for 10 years. They have three children, Everett, age six, and two-year-old twins, Aria and Hudson. And you're gonna have, oh. Ryan's wife, Angela, is gonna pin him. <laughs> All right. We have Sergeant Sharp. Um, he was promoted just a few weeks ago. Sergeant Sharp began his law enforcement career at 23 years old in 2000 with the Washington State Patrol. Prior, we'll forgive you for that, it's okay. Pri prior to that, he began his journey into public service as a volunteer firefighter from 1995 to 1997. We'll forgive you for that too. <laughs> <laughs> and then became a full-time firefighter EMT from 97 until 2000 with Franklin County Fire District number three. He became an officer with the Richland Police Department in January of 2008. Sergeant Sharp has held a number of titles throughout his career including firearms instructor, defensive tactics instructor, taser instructor, tactical shield instructor, and was a member of the Tri-City Regional SWAT team, was an OIC and an FTO. Um, Sergeant Sharp is passionate about his service to the community and to others in his public service work and striving to do the best for those he serves and for his co fellow coworkers. Todd finds great purpose in that. In his off time, he enjoys traveling as much as possible, camping, snow skiing, playing games with his kids, driving his wife of 22 years crazy, he said that, and cuddling with his Dan, is it a Danif? Danif. <laughs> Named Jasmine, that's his dog. Is that a Great Dane Mastiff? Yeah, please, please, oh. Great Dane Mastiff mix. Wow. I don't want to clean up after that. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and your wife Joanna is gonna pin you. LT. We have Lieutenant Jansen next. He was promoted in June of this year. Damon Jansen first started working in law enforcement in 1999 for the East Lansing Police Department in Michigan, where uh, Michi Michigan State University is located. Damon transferred to the Richland Police Department in 2003. Since then, he has held the positions of use of force and EVOC instructor, as well as OIC for his patrol squad. He spent 11 years as a, as a detective before he was promoted to sergeant in, two, in uh, 2019. In 2021, Damon switched over to being the sergeant of the criminal investigations division until his promotion to lieutenant in June of 2022. Damon is married to his wonderful wife, Nicole. You wrote that. <laughs> and they have three children, ages 11, 15, and 17. The entire family is active in the community and their church, Hillspring Church in Richland. Damon's son, Colin, is gonna pin him. <laughs> All right, and we have Commander Nair, who was promoted in April of this year. Dave Nair started his law enforcement career in 2008 in the state of California. In his career, he has served a wide variety of assignments to include patrol, investigations, SWAT, and narcotics. Dave possesses a bachelor's degree in criminal justice management and a master's degree in organizational leadership. In 2021, Dave and his family re relocated to Richland <clears throat> to seek a better quality of life. When he is not working, he can be found fishing or enjoying the time with his family in the outdoors. Dave owes his, his success to his supportive family, his wife, Becky, and his children, Jade and Carson. And you have, is Becky Jade. gonna? Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> No. 
again, I want to thank everybody for coming out in support of these men, and I want to thank them for being up to the challenge of what we have in the years ahead. I'm, I'm very grateful to have the leadership team that I do. I think that we've accomplished in the last, accomplished a lot in the last year, and I can't wait to see what we have going forward. So thank you, everyone.